get us a bit more room to see things. I'm going to move this push chair. I might be getting rid of this because we've got a pram coming off my mob. See what I mean? A tip. She's got to clean that up before the baby comes along. This is... I'll put it on her bed so you can see. I've got some covers for this as well, which you can use in the cot. My mum made these. They're curtains for a baby, so the non-gender Pacific. And it's got the frilly bit at the top. You know, like, um, I don't know what you call it, gathered bit at the top of the curtains. And um, just straight at the bottom. And they've got tie backs somewhere as well. So they'll be going up there. And I've got... Um, Covers for the Moses basket, and uh, not the Moses basket. Covers for the cot here. This goes around the cot. The bumper bit. That's the bumper bit. And then I've got the um the mattress as well, which is here. But at the moment we're just using this for storage because we are planning to move next year. And obviously these tops will go for the toys. This is um for the pram like a sunshade Winnie the Pooh sunshade see kind of that shape and it comes over the, the pram when we get the pram goes. and we've also got this which is a cover well more of a drape that goes over the top but I've got to put it on properly and then when we get a proper cot it will drape round the edge so it will come around here like that well, on the other one and um, this we bought in the auction room a while ago rocking holes for the baby and then I've got a wooden one as well it is actually that that's making the noise I've just pressed it we bought this as well which is a potty for the baby and um, it looks like a car and it lifts up there or oh, actually does it I think that bit lifts, yeah, that bit lifts up, so baby can go in there, which is not bad. This we bought, Angel Care. People say it's a waste of money, but we got it anyway. I'll show you. We bought this second hand from Charity Shop. Um, you just put a cartridge in there once I clean it out, that is, and then it it kind of wraps the nappies and they go into the bottom, so you can change it like once a day instead of going to the, you know the bin 12 times a day it's just a baby bath and this we've got second hand as well the bouncy chair which I thought was quite good I think it's about five pound or something let's start on the toiletries obviously I'm not going to show you breast pads and things like that because it's pointless um I bought these in Vegas I'm always trying little socks they are even if we have a boy, we'll still put them on. Put this one in the paint shop. They plug in, and the night lights they light up just when it goes dark. And these they've got in the paint shop as well in England. They're just sacks, nappy bags. But we might either use them or buy the proper ones to go into that. And obviously, these are the freebies you get. Um, got Johnson's baby powder which recently I found out it's not that good for the baby so I don't know if I'll be using that Johnson's baby bath um it's so shampoo sorry Johnson's baby bath top to toe wash which would be good for before the cord comes off and we also got some little bath boats and the typical Johnson's nappy barrier cream you know so to stop any nappy rash um on here we have nappies so it's three nappies I'm going to put all those in here so I can show you what's in this box so it's two nappies nappy bags again lots of wipes for the mum but obviously we're going to need cotton wool wipes and little these are free ones if you go on that website there www.momandyou.com I don't know if it's in every country they send you free nappies size two these are ten of them these are the bags, obviously. But yeah, we've got lots of nappies. Because they don't last very long, do the ladies? You use a couple of packs of... Well, you use quite a lot. You use over 100 a week. Just moving all in so you can see what's, what's underneath and everything. 
if we do stay in this house long enough to use this then there's a changing mat and I'm just going to use it on there we've got the odd little toy on top of here that just won't fit in and this is one of them old one of them clocks where it's velcro and it pulls off and you can change the time with it so that's to teach them the time and if I move this right the pull along dog you're from the 80s or 70s you'll remember these or even before that yeah and open this if I can manage it See, we've got lots of toys that we bought second hand absolute loads including a couple of the push along cars that we've taken apart you must have seen them so back to it Look. lots of puzzle type games Thomas the Tank Engine kind of things and for the pram that you pull and it makes some noise yeah, and then we've got armbands that was from the last pregnancy and lots of little things like that so that's completely full of toys. I'll put that back in a bit. And we have a little chair as well for the baby. Right, let's start getting some of this so you can have a look. You have an all-in-one unisex baby thing, baby coat. And depending on what we're having, we have a boy suit. And another one there. And we have Lots of bibs, new ones of course. Some mittens, stop them scratching their face. Girl dungarees, girl dress, girl's coat, girls all in one, another dress, some jamas, more jamas. Ow, go back again. In here we've got lots of socks, believe it or not, just socks for a girl. And actually there's some shoes in there as well. And then we have lots of baby grows at the back. Just typical baby grows that we bought second hand. Jumpers. I think these are all jumpers. Yeah, look, they're all jumpers. Little jumpers. And these are all in the various sizes. I've already put them in the sizes. And then my vests. You know what vests look like, don't you? But if you don't, that's what they look like. They're pressed on under there like the other sort. That goes underneath the sleep suits, which are the longer ones. And they just go up in the sizes. That's all it is. Same in the boys. Boys vests. Lots of new ones. Lots of boys trousers. Again, we bought second hand. But they have got some new stuff in there, which is these kind of things. Lots of trousers for boys and stuff. Lots of t-shirts as well. Um... So they should have plenty of clothes. We'll probably still go buy more. As you can see, I've sized them all up. Six to nine, three to six, not to three. Nine to twelve. I haven't got much in nine to twelve. Got to get more. But I'll wait until I find out what we're having. But yeah, I've sized them up everywhere. Look, so we know what we're where they are, and I don't have to try and find them. We also have as well because we didn't know originally what we we're having or how many. I've got premature boys as well. It depends on the weight of the baby, they might not be used. But yeah. Oh God, I'm out of breath because I can hardly breathe. Oh, that's about it, ladies. Thanks for taking a little tour with us. I'm not going to show you things like um, press pads and stuff that's in my room that's for me because you know what that looks like, it's silly. Um, but that's about it. So yeah, I will do a video in a few days with the 19 week one, okay, and when um, I've got a minute I'll show you our silver cross pram as well, which is one of the big old fashioned prams that, um, similar to the princess had in this country in England, um, Kate and William's baby, what they used, I've got a pram like that and bam model, so you can google that or can wait till I do the video, it's entirely up to you. Um, so yeah, I'll speak to you soon ladies. Bye for now. Bye bye. Like and subscribe if you want to. Bye for now. Bye.